All right, guys, day number three of our Hastings England trip. So far, it's been going awesome. We did the obstacle course last night. The kids had so much fun. We are back in the plaza room right now. As you can tell, we have two riders in here. We have Trey Jones and we have Sean Ricani. The whole goal with this today, this is the filming portion of it. All 10 teams have one hour in this room to come up with the best video that they possibly could. So there's two filmers. We have Vish and we have Rich Bourne that are filming right now. So what they're gonna be doing is they're gonna be taking that footage and they're going to be combining it, trying to make as best video as they can. Now the team with the highest score in the video will get the first scoring on there and that puts their team in to the right placing right now. So it's real crucial that Trey Jones gets something really good right now and that Sean Ricani comes up with something really good right now. But this is day two and they are halfway through at this point. There's five more teams left to do it. So we're gonna let these guys do their thing and we're gonna catch up with them in a little bit and see what's happening. Maddie is in the other room. He's getting ready. He's practicing on the bowl because that's the part he's gonna be riding in. We're not gonna show you guys the riding, but we're gonna show you guys the interesting setups that Trey Jones comes up with. There's a rumor that he might actually take ramps and put him inside the foam pit. So we're gonna find out in a little bit. The crew's getting to work right now. They're setting something up. What are you setting up? He's gonna do a gap in, off the, the in and out, into the wall ride, out, off the thing, and somewhere into this ledge. I don't truly understand how he does it, but he does it. We got Beach filming right now. Beach is the cold filmer. Trey just did the most insane stuff on this right here. He jumped into that ledge, rode around that wall, landed in this ledge, and then jumped and grinded that down ledge right there. It was insane. What are you doing now? Can't tell you. Top secret. This is Trey's setup currently. I'll tell you, I don't get that. He's got a Sabrosa Street Rail on a curveball ride. He's gonna have to slide through it like James Bond. Or in England, you know? I don't get it right now. I'm really I'm so confused on what's happening, but that's the current setup. We got another setup right now. Maddie has been commissioned to hold the rail up right now. Decapitation Nation about to go down it's here. It's crazy. So he just attempted it. They're all checking the footage right now to see how it turned out. <laughs> Good work, Matt. Great job. Great job. Next thing, Trey wants to use this in and out, and he wants to gap into the curve wall ride and ride around it. Pretty insane. He's going to get speed from coming from that wall over there. That's just so awesome about Trey as a BMX rider. He has so much originality. When he comes to a setup like this, it's endless things he can come up with. Operation make new setups right now. What they're doing is setting up the rail. They want to use this one for Sean McCandy, actually. He's going to somehow do a curve wall ride and use that rail. How you feel? Good? Fantastic. You have anything it's else fun. you're still working on? Now it's just scary stuff. That scary I don't stuff? Do. Yeah. Here's the countdown. We officially have five seconds left, so we got the last tricks. So that is going to be it. one hour of filming over here in the plaza area. That was so much fun to watch. So you guys can go and check out the full videos and you guys can see what the finished product is. We're just trying to give you guys a little insight of what's actually happening here at Battle of Casey. So we're gonna go cruise around and see what else we can find around here. We'll check in a little bit. So I just had to run back to the hotel to get a couple things, but I'm looking out the window right here and it's pretty hard to believe we're in England right now. This place is beautiful. I feel like we're in Huntington Beach, California right now. A bunch of people outside, it's sunny, nice view of the coast. England gets a bad rap. They're always saying, you know, it's cold and it's rainy here. I'm not gonna lie, the last couple days it has been kind of cold and rainy. But today's absolutely beautiful and we're going back underground. It's time to go back to the skate park right now. We're gonna go see who's riding over there, see which riders are getting ready for the competition. Tomorrow is going to be the event, the live event. So let's go check it out. So we're back at the bowl right now. The guys are practicing right now. It's a good little session happening. So I'm gonna film a few of the runs, show you guys what's happening and uh, getting ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be the big day. It's gonna be completely filled here. As you can see, there's people showing up on the top of their ranchers. That is going to be completely filled tomorrow. They have a sold out situation. They got rid of all the tickets. So let's get filming right here. We'll show you guys the practice. So a little heads Special up before tomorrow's out. event. This is my biological uncle, Uncle Fizz. He's 48 years old and he completely... Oh. Yes, Fizz. favorite riders ever, Mr. Jason Loss. Oh my god! Yeah, and KK Lander. Are you serious? That was cool. Oh, look at that 
That was legit. Yes, man. We got Van Homan on the course right now. Yes, BMX legend. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Jason wants back in the course right now. Oh, beautiful. Not only can he do nose wheelies, he can also do amazing stylish tricks as well. Dude, he's out of your repertoire. Uncle's on the course with a three! Yes! So the story with Fitz being my uncle, before I even met him, he was a BMX rider that was in the magazines and the videos, and I knew all about him from that. And then randomly about 10 years ago, I had a dream that he was my uncle and that we were doing tuck no handers together in the dream. As weird as it sounds, it was a true story. When I finally met Fitz for the first time last year, I ended up telling him the story and to my surprise, he actually laughed about it. So now I just call him Uncle Fitz. Coolest guy out there. He's been riding BMX forever and he absolutely destroys it still, as you guys could tell. The foods, Woo! just like the dream. Thanks, Fitz. <laughs> Kevin Carras on the cross. Huge tabletop right there. And what's awesome about this event is they actually invite BMX legends to come out here. So this year, Dave Asato's here, Matt Berenger's here. Matt Berenger's currently on the deck. I'm gonna see if we can get him doing a couple tricks. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Berenger's on the course. He is known to have the most unique tricks out there. As you can tell, <laughs> how cool is that? The first one is to do a couple of them. Yeah. Oh my God! Are yeah. you kidding me, Jason? <laughs> oh my God! What an insane rider! Let's see what he's got here. <laughs> so good. Are you getting nervous yet for tomorrow's event or what? I'm not nervous at all. This is like the most easy going contest ever. I've got cool. three other people on my team that I can just blame blame if I do something bad. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm like, oh, I don't know. We all just didn't come together today, you know? That's it. But no, I'm really excited. It's going to be a blast. It's like a big party in a bowl. Is Trey going to win? Yeah. Definitely? Mm. Yeah, I think they already wrote him down first. Here before he went. Congrats. Yeah. Yep. So just getting back to the hotel room right now. Another long day hanging out here in Hastings, England. We had so much fun though, and we we're getting ready for the big show tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be absolutely insane. There's going to be a live feed as well. If you guys want to learn information on that, you guys could probably go to Source BMX and figure that one out. It's going to be nuts. It's going to be the most epic BMX competition I've been to in a long time because this is going to be core BMX. This is not about win or loser or the biggest paycheck. This is all about respect and having fun with each other, and that's what BMX is about. It really is. So I have a whole lot to do tomorrow. I'm actually meeting up with Monster. I'm going to be doing things for their Facebook and their Instagram. And then also we're going to be filming the event. Maddie is riding tomorrow and it's going to be so cool to watch that happen. But right now I'm actually going to meet the guys downstairs at the hotel. We're cruising over to a theater down the road because Colt is premiering their latest video out there. So that's going to be fun to watch as well. Nothing but action here in Hastings. Literally there's not a moment where we're sitting here like bored at all. We're completely busy and we're having so much fun doing it. So I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. We'll be checking in tomorrow with an awesome video. I can promise you that one. So until next time, guys, remember to subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching. Peace. It's going down right now. We got the big dog, Trey. There's so many people showing up. This is awesome right now. I think so. I met a lot of different people. I want to get these lights on, I want this thing to play, I want it to crank, and I want you all to enjoy it. Am I supposed to say more or is that good? Yeah.